Act now or pay an even heavier price later. That's the warning from a global commission on the measures that are needed to adapt to climate change. The report says rich countries must invest $1.8 trillion to safeguard livelihoods, food and water supplies. Early warning systems for hurricanes and restoring forests are among the many proposals. Well, I'm joined now by Fika Sibusma, who's global climate leader for the World Bank Group and a board member of the World Economic Forum and is in Heerlen in the Netherlands. Welcome to Impact. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, and may I ask you first, you say that business has a vital role to play in increasing this climate resilience. How? Because business can prepare itself for that future uh, in which climate change is impacting us for our own interest, to be honest, but also do the innovations to help the world. Let's see, uh, we are four years after the Paris Agreement, and now we are already derailing from the trajectory we have agreed with more than 200 nations four years ago. And therefore, we need to talk about climate mitigation as well as adaptation. And business, together with government, can make a difference. Preparing ourselves for floods, for droughts, for food supply chain interruptions, but also uh, doing the innovations. And you mentioned 1.8 billion investment. Our calculations shows it can give a return of over 7 billion. So it's a good business case as well. I see very clearly the long-term value to society from those kind of actions that you're outlining. How do businesses sell it to their shareholders? Well, well uh, if we don't act and if we don't make the risk analysis um, and share that in a transparent way with our investors, our investors might become nervous in whom to invest in. That's first, uh, transparency. Secondly, also uh, to uh, make our own operations more resilient. I mean, we have some places maybe as business where we are in danger for floodings or if there are droughts that our workers do not come to our factories or if the agriculture food supply chain is interrupted, some businesses might be interrupted by that. So it's just preventing risk. But the third thing is the business case itself, not only preventing risk, but doing innovations. We, as Royal DSM, invented the new algae oil to give to fish in fish farms and not to empty the oceans, which is good for society, but also a good business case because the fish farms would like to buy our product. We developed new products uh, for agriculture in Africa, a good business case as well. So there's money to be earned, so to say, uh, by business as well. They're all really good examples of best practice, uh, which helps when people are thinking, well, what can we do? Or, or I think people tend to think, well, this is up to national governments to act as at a state level. I know something that the report has said is, well, it's also up to, to mayors, to community leaders. Things can be done on a smaller level and done right now. Correct. And uh, let's be honest. I mean, uh, business cannot be successful if they operate in a world that fails. And climate change is really bringing our business into a squeeze in the future. So therefore, we need to work hard on climate mitigation. But as I said, we are already off track of Paris right now. We need to get back on track, mitigation, but also prepare and the most vulnerable especially, and therefore prepare on climate adaptation in our own interest and also as a good business case. And we have numerous examples. We develop new materials as Royal DSM, which can uh, make dikes stronger or prevent against hurricanes or floodings, etc. So there's money to be earned. And of course, the world will spend money on, on this. At the end of the day, it is a collaboration uh, between the private and the public sector. The public sector can set rules, the public sector can uh, take care of some blended finance together with the private sector to get us over certain hurdles. Uh, but there's a responsibility for the private sector as well. Thank you, Sibusma. I'm honest, afraid we, we have to stop there. Thank you so much, though, for, for your enthusiasm, but for the, the expertise that you've brought to us <laughs> on what can be done right now.